Don't look at it. I'm not asking you anymore. I'm telling you what we're doing. Do you understand? No! I'm not going to hurt you. Come on. No? Okay. All right. Well, I've asked you, and I'm telling you, we're going to go there, okay? Yeah, we are. Stop! Stop! You gotta stop! Look at me! Ow! You're choking! Just walk! You can walk? You can walk? You can walk. Just walk. I'm not asking you anymore. I'm telling you what we're doing. Do you understand? No! Do you understand? No! Do you understand? Just stop! Just sit down! I learned that he was in the back of a police car um, and it was for poking another child with a pencil after that child was marking on him. Just, I, <laughs> there's so many other ways it could have been handled and, and, you know, he's a child with autism. He has challenges, but he's not a criminal. The school resource officers should have never been involved in this case to begin with. Counselors, not cops, should be handling these types of classroom management situations, especially with students with disabilities. You know, again, he's, his anxiety is through the roof. Um, you know, we're trying to get through school and, and all that, but he's he's definitely has major anxiety from this. Yeah.